Good evening and welcome to Omni Bros Live on a Monday where it's Hall's previews and reads. I'm Omni Dog from Omni Dog's Vault, one of the Omni Bros alongside Dave Loves 90s Comics. What's up, Jess? Geekdom's Geo. Hey, everybody. And the Uncanny Omar. From I was Your here. I was here on time. I just want to say it's not my fault this time. Yes. So uh, the time no more. Untim Iowa. Untimely no more. I was here. <laughs> so. Way before I was. Way. Yes. I was like, where the hell is Jess? He's holding everybody up. So <laughs> what's going on, everybody? It's Monday. You right. We're kicking the week off right because this episode is sponsored by. Instocktrades.com. Look at that. Where you can get your collected editions up to 50% off. Loyalty discounts add 2% to that. Uh, Thursday night, they will be giving away on the show this coming Thursday night the $50 credit to IST that they give away. The gift card, the $50 gift card. They give away to a lucky viewer like you. But not you. No, no not me or, or this uh, guy. Okay. Uh, and that's available to people around the world. That's right. Your yep. $50 or more in a book order, you get free shipping in the United States. Fabulous customer service. Fabulous packaging. That's at SockTrades.com. Who did I throw under the bus? Uh, no, I threw you under the bus, but that's oh, just that's uh, okay. payback. He always throws me under the bus. That's okay. Yeah. It's no, okay. Fine. It's good. Okay. Peaky out with that wine glass. That's right. Somebody went to editing <laughs> camp. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's the attitude. <laughs> I like it. So here we are on a Monday with a big week ahead of us. Yeah. Oh, boy. Lots October, of big October is not done whooping your wallet's ass. Like he said one more again, and yeah. this is the week. That's right. Yeah, that's not you. That's not us. We're yeah. all broke. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's the uh, publishers. So, uh, I know Gabe has a big haul. So, before that sucks up all our time, maybe we should go through reads first, then hauls, and then the big book previews. That everybody tunes in for and wants to know what is for sale this week. Do you want people to start emailing us now for the gift card? Um, actually, I uh, Omar had a good point that yep. uh, Thursday would be a better time for the gift card to go away. On you just that. threw me under the bus. On the, no, it's your good suggestion. <laughs> well, then I should change the name of the show for tonight. Yeah, I was just going to say that. Oh, you also why? did hear what right Jess said. Jess said the gift card will be given away Thursday. Oh. I thought I was the only one that didn't listen to him. I'm glad I'm not alone. Wait a minute. What's going on? Is, is the name of the show giveaway gift card or something? Yes, yeah, because that's what we talked word. about in the chat and what you guys talked about yesterday. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. Uh, you oh, know what? We're do it live. We're doing live. <laughs> I'll write it and we'll do it live. The whole thing sucks. So, so when are we doing it? We're today doing it? or well, Thursday? If it's already in the, in the – if the name of the freaking episode is yeah, let, we're giving away a gift card, let's do it tonight then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was here first. I just want to say it's not my fault. Uh, okay. So I guess we're giving away a gift card tonight. <laughs> we're giving away a gift card tonight uh, at the end of the night. But I want to keep it to like the first 50. I don't want 100 billion entrants. So emails. as punishment, Omar should give away a gift card on his show. How about coupons to... Mr. Gaddy and Miss and Gaddy Town. I got plenty of coupons to Chili's too. If you want that, I can give those away. <laughs> we got good baby back. It ribs. looks like I have an IST statue, right? Oh, yeah, yeah that that looks cool. <laughs> it looks like you won an award from IST. I won the award. <laughs> He's just holding it. Like, <laughs> and the award, the, the award for money most spent at IST goes to Jess Bray. <laughs> you know, you're just spending it on your finger like some NBA star. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Okay, so I guess we're giving uh, away a gift card tonight. So uh, let's do halls or reads, reads. and then uh, reads halls. And then before previews, I'll start taking like the first 50 emails. Um, and Don't I am in the Omni Bros Network, so what? Don't send them yet. Wait. <laughs> yeah. Don't send them yet. Anything sent now uh, will be tossed. Peace and love. Peace and love. There it is, right there. How did you? What? <laughs> 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 uh, okay. So reads, right? What did you read, Omar? Okay. I have been going through Berserk again because oh, I'm doing an old reader, new reader tomorrow on yes. the first thirteen volumes. Or the first five volumes of the deluxe editions. Well, I guess the first third of the fifth volume. So that's when uh, we'll be doing it. Eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time on my channel. And that's near me condition. That's what I've been uh, reading uh, most, mostly since the weekend. So I don't know what I read before that. What the hell did I read? <laughs> I read a couple of things. Oh, I read Empire because I did a video on that. And I started reading Venomnibus Volume three, I did read what that. Volume two, uh, Dunn did that a year ago when it came out. Then Omnibus two, which mm -hmm. I think was a little bit better than three. Yeah, three had its moments, but uh, but that's it. That's all I read. How about you guys? Empire. What's the uh, verdict on Empire? Honestly, I like the rich history that Empire uh uses right it it had its ups and downs like it it was a little bit of a slow burn and then uh it was kind of interesting and then i like i mean when you're talking about the katati swordsman and the celestial madonna celestial messiah you know you're you're going to confuse a lot of readers with uh characters that haven't appeared in a while right because i mean even mantis appearing in guardians of the galaxy was a lot different than the celestial madonna mantis so I, I liked it. I thought it was uh, pretty good. I was asked what was better, War of the Realms or Empire. I, mm. War, War, I thought War of the Realms was a, a better read, but Empire was fun. Had some really good artwork, too. I love the covers by Jim Chung. I mean, that is Jim Chung. Jim he, Chung, man. I, 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 hate, I hate the fact that is he? he's not contracted with DC or Marvel, is he? Because he was doing Justice League for a little bit. Or was, yeah. No, that was Copiel, wasn't it? He, no, it was Jim Chung. He did like six pages mm -hmm. or two issues, something like that. Yeah. And then that was kind of it for him. And he, I think he did covers for a while. But... I, I miss the days of Jimmy Chung drawing monthly comics. Of course, that was exactly. during Avengers The Crossing, and nobody misses those days but me. Well, or Young Avengers. <laughs> Definitely get those Young Avengers. That covers. shit wasn't monthly. It was, a... Dude, it was like five well, months children's... in between issues sometimes. Children's Crusade was like took a meal. Oh God, break. yeah, that that's when he just like his status just went to superstar, and he was like, "Wait, I can make the same money just drawing covers." Yeah, you'll yeah. get your funny book <laughs> in about a month or two. So, but I love this artwork. Even back <laughs> then, he did. Uh, did you ever read any of his stuff uh, like Scion when he was over at CrossGen? Roger, yeah, Scion, or, Maverick. Maverick's one of my favorite books when I was growing yeah, up. Yeah, but I thought I the Maverick. colors in Scion were just awesome. That was uh, Ron Mars that wrote it. And Maverick is a very underrated series. Like, he did the first, what, five issues of that, and then there was the guy whose name we can't mention finished it out, I think. Jeff Masuda? No, the guy that's in prison now. Oh. Uh, Harvey Weinstein. Uh, there's a lot of guys in prison, but the, there was a there's a certain artist that drew that fuck that guy, Bill Cosby. No, and I usually don't say fuck that guy, but that guy really fucked that guy. Not okay. Jimmy Chung, the artist that followed Jimmy Chung on. Shit, I probably got it wrong. Somebody's googling the artist that followed Jimmy Chung. I'm looking it up right now. Honestly. <laughs> Oh, that guy! Oh, that guy! It is totally not the. But guy I thought he did the up. whole series. He did the whole series. Oh no! Wait. No, he did the whole series besides one issue. Mm, maybe it was the filming issue. But anyway, uh, that's all I about, read. What about Leo, you guys? Leo Fernandez? No, not that guy. Please don't. Okay. No, never mind. Don't don't look it up. Because <laughs> I, uh, I was talking about I was I was talking about Justiano. We did a lot of artwork for DC and Marvel. Oh. And then one day he disappeared. 
who he disappeared, right? So I googled what he was doing, and shit, I'm glad he disappeared. He's in prison. Mm. So, what uh, what about you guys? What did you all read? Uh, uh, well, I can go real quick. I can go real quick because I didn't read much. Uh, I was uh, my channel, my subscribers, I should say, not my channel. Channel's not sentient. Uh, the, the channel <laughs> wrote it uh, for me to review a specific manga, and that was Pluto, which I've already read before. So I reread it and made a video on it, but uh, it, it'll come out eventually during the week. So I read that, and I'm gearing up for this Thursday, which is the final spooktober uh video on this uh network uh and we're gonna be covering uh gotenabe's uh, lovecraft adaptation of uh at the mountains of madness so i'm reading that and i stopped reading it to do this show so when i'm done here i'm gonna go back and finish that <laughs> nice i read uh i reread because um Taylor Brown and I are going to review Curses, Curse of the White Knight. I reread Batman White Knight, which I felt lukewarm about my first time reading it. Uh, my second time reading it, I really liked it. I don't know what happened, but I really, really liked it the second time I read it uh, and enjoyed it a lot. So I'm looking forward to um, Cursed... Curse of the White Knight, or whatever it's called, we're reading it uh, for Batter Days in the Bat Cave. So everybody, I think, pretty much knows this book already. Um, but I don't, I don't remember a lot of books where I didn't like it very much, and then I read it again, and then I really like it. So I dug this. Well, and that's then, a good thing, then. Sorry. So that's a good thing then. Yeah, I'm really happy with it. I, it's a it's a keeper for sure. I read Low Low Woods, the uh, Joe Hill Hill comics. He didn't write it. Carmen Maria Machado did. Uh, it again has the vellum like cover. Oh, nice 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 acetate cover. <laughs> <laughs> that is like a vellum like cover. You can ask DC. They say it. Uh, and this is basically about how a town has a problem of the women, all the women in there getting sexually assaulted. And they try okay. and the women try and fix, try to figure out, and it's a horrifying book. So it's a good, if you like horror, it's like real life horror. And um, how are, are they getting away with this sexual assault? And every woman's vulnerable and it's, Kristen and I read it, and we both had trouble admitting that we had, we liked it because we we did. But it's all about sexual assault. So, if you, I, my only uh, caveat about this is, if you have uh, any issue with uh, uh, sexual assault or it's it, it's happened to you or anything, it, this book could be a big trigger for you. So just be careful. Uh, it's very horrifying. Uh, and it's, um, but it's very well written and, uh, the art is different, but it, it suited the book and we enjoyed it, uh, to the extent that you can enjoy a book, uh, all about that subject. And then we also read Lady Mechanica, my, one of my favorite books. Whose piece. choice? Whose choice was that? Was that Kristen's choice? Actually, it was. She wanted to read it. Oh yeah, did she like it? She did. I was really happy. <laughs> <laughs> I was really it's happy. It's solid. I like. I love the artwork by. Benito. Oh yeah, I love the artwork. I love the adventures that Lady Mechanica gets into. Um, the characters are so interesting. It's all steampunk, Victorian England, Mechanica City right here. Uh, I just I love this series, and uh, we reviewed this, and she, uh, Kristen, did like it, which I was really happy about. And we also read a book about Kent State when the National Guard killed four innocent students on the Kent State campus back in 1970 when they were protesting the war in Vietnam, and 
that's by Durf Back Durf. I read that on Hoopla, so I don't have it with me. But it was ex it's an extremely well re researched graphic novel on what happened uh, on campus there in Kent State back in May of 1970, which is uh, a horrifying chapter in American history and reminds me of how scary 1968 through 1970 must have been for grownups then. I was just a kid, so I I just was in my own little bubble, but I remember all those things, and I remember Kent State was uh, on the front pages for a long time of the newspaper. So that's what I read. What was the name of the book? Kent State. Oh, it was called Kent State? Yeah, by Durf Back Durf. That's the same guy that did uh, Dahmer's My Best Friend. Yeah, My, best friend, my Dahmer, friend Dahmer, right? yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Which they yeah, made a really good, a really movie. good job writing it. It made a movie out of my friend Dahmer, and it was really good. Yeah, I saw that too. Mm. It's really good. Uh, uh, for me, just real quick, just to yep. kind of pass it through, uh, I'm just I'm still reading through Invincible. I'm still on uh, volume five. So oh, I gotta catch up. Still enjoying it. Still digging it. Really, really looking forward to the uh, Amazon series. Uh, but that's all I've really been able to get through right now. Uh, good old Invincible. And if this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Give us that thumbs up. Uh, we're 170 people watching live right now. Awesome. Uh, and you can tell them how much fun we had on the uh, Patreon chat, sw uh, Swamp Fire, I mean Campfire, Saturday night. That was fun. Yep. So uh, this Saturday was our uh, Patreon uh, campfire hangout, Omni Bros After Dark, where Jess was super excited because he got to show off all of his booby books <laughs> that, that we don't get to show here on the show uh, for obvious reasons. But on that hangout, it was all booby books, and they really it, it was it was twelve people. It was. A lot of people from uh, across the country and across the world. I mean, we had a uh, uh, Martin or Martian from the Philippines. Yeah, and guy. oddly enough, coincidentally, a, a couple of two or three hundred people were actually from Iowa. So that lived That's like awesome. in the same like county next to each other. That was kind of cool. Uh, so yeah, that was a good time. That was fun. Our link is, to the Patreon is down below. It's five bucks a month uh, if you want to be in the campfire tier. And uh, we kind of just get there's no conventions, there's no like meetups anymore right now with COVID. So this is our chance once a month to have a a, a meetup with with the, the viewers and our friends and our new friends that we make from this. So that's fun. Maybe one day we'll get Omar in there to hang out with us in a in a campfire. No shirts required. <laughs> well, you didn't say that. Well, now you now know. you've piqued my interest. Yes. <laughs> I actually showed the book that I almost got in trouble for. I showed it fully on uh, Saturday night. The Emily's Mom book. I oh. showed all of it. Well, well, oh, the uh, Tim. What was it, that? It was uh, it's um, by Alexis Flowers. It was a Kickstarter book called I Roved Out. And that's what Gabe showed in the chat that Hand Axe uh, Instagrammed yesterday, right? Didn't she? Uh, hand axe, uh, what's her name? Um, uh, Leah Williams. Leah Williams, yeah. She showed a picture of uh, a uh, well endowed woman from I Roved Out on her Instagram. But uh, that was the book that nobody. Um, I'm everybody, so you, who was it? Was it you and Gabe? It was, it was me, you, and Gabe when Emily's mom was in the chat that yeah. day. Yeah. And me yeah. and Gabe were like, Jess, stop talking. <laughs> and you were like, look at the titties. No, no, no. <laughs> I never showed anything. I kept saying, well, I can't just show you that. I can't show you that. I can't show you that. <laughs> what a fun episode. <laughs> just me, you see, Bo, I think that was the time when it was uh, during Google Hangouts. So it wasn't all of us on the screen. It was me and Gabe in the corner of the screen going, oh, that's right. That's yeah, right. we're like, stop, stop, Jess. <laughs> the chat was saying stop. I didn't see any of that. 
We were all saying stop. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute. Leo, what are you doing in here, man? What's up? Anyway, uh, go ahead. I, uh, <laughs> that was a that was a good time, man. That was a good that time. That was so one yeah. Of my I favorite moments you. on this channel. So can yeah. the if you subscribe to Patreon, can though can those people watch that uh, campfire? Or is it a one and done yeah, thing? Yeah, rec uh, Gabe recorded it, so they yeah. can watch it. I got to oh, I got to edit it and throw it up there. I haven't gotten around to that yet, and it might be a couple days. Because <laughs> I got to well, I got to go back to work tomorrow, and then once my work day starts, right. I don't have any time. That's yeah, but yeah, I'll throw it up there. It'll be and it's only available to the people with the five dollar tier. Like you have, we have the one dollar tier, which is just a tip jar. You can edit it. Make it two dollars, make it three bucks, make it five bucks, make it fifty bucks, whatever. Uh, but the five dollar monthly tier, uh, I'll put that video up for them so that people can rewatch it and people who can't make it to the campfire tier because you got a lot of people in that campfire tier and not everybody can make it. Uh, they can go back and watch it and see the cool booby books and all the stuff we talked about. Like people ask us questions about. Dude, we, we, we got into like mortgage rates. We got into <laughs> weed experiences. Yeah, we got into like, you know, some some drug talk. Oops, sorry. Uh, we got into oh. uh, work stuff. <laughs> me talking about torpedo and me leaving torpedo. Uh, yeah, so it's it's a very just down and out. It's stuff that we can't really talk about on the show. It's Omni Bros After Dark. Uh, no holds barred. Any question, you know, all of our opinions go flying. Uh, it's a definite less reserve. Uh, group. If you think we're crazy here, it is two percent crazier on the on the campfire. Two percent. Two percent. Chris Davis and uh, Nathaniel were there. They they thought it was fun. It was worth every bit of five dollars. Said Chris Davis. Yep. We tried. It's five bucks. We try to provide at least five dollars and fifty cents worth of entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> so Candace. Think of them as uh, uh, appreciation of the human body, art, art books. Yeah, their their art appreciation art. of the yeah. human body. Get yeah, the art out of Yeah, and then I started showing crossed, which is really an appreciation. That of is body. a depreciation of the human body. That book, literally man. deep. Isn't that what museums are for? You appreciate human anatomy at museums too. So. And if we welcome the omnibus collector to the uh, show, here he is, Riley Mo. The Riley's here. Like we can't really hear I you, know, but we I'm can see you. Not sure about his volume right now, but we did get a five dollar super chat from Billy Nyes or Nays. Nays, because I see the horse now. Uh, Thank you. Boobies. <laughs> our new show, Omni Bros After Dark. It is. It's called the. It's called Patreon. Patreon's at Omni Bros after dark. Swamp fire. Billy, I apologize. I thought that was a fox for some reason in the avatar. I didn't realize it was a horse. Of course. Of course. I'm like, why? Then I realized, oh, it's a horse. But thank you for the super chat. Oh, I didn't show any of my Frank Cho stuff. Yes, yeah, as Murph. I'll uh I'll oh. save that for next time. I got some Frank Cho stuff too that I could show. Okay. That'll be for the next Swamp Fire. But I do have his art book from his first Kickstarter. So that's some good stuff. And I can show, some, I'll do Cross this time too. What up, Riley? What's, uh, what's with Swamp Fire? What, what's that? Uh, we can't really hear you, dude. I felt like I missed something with the Swamp Fire thing. Uh, I misspoke and called it Swamp Fire instead of a campfire for the Patreon. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Somebody yeah, Jamie says it's, it's, it's fun just to hang out. You don't have to be a part of the conversation. You can just show up and just hang out and just listen to all the oh, uh, He was just listening. He wasn't part of the... Uh... He was there. I don't remember him saying a lot more than just you know simple introductions and and little things like that. But oh, I remember, okay. I did remember uh, Jamie being there. Um, Nathaniel was definitely there. I remember you know Nathaniel was hanging out with us for sure. Martin or Martian from the Philippines was there. Apparently, there's a big Filipino 
omnibus collector community. So, no, so what, is it, we'll just give him the password to Omni Bros Live, and you can, we can have our own international show here as well. Kind of like, like Ryan, did you read anything this week? Did you get a chance to read anything this week? Me? Yeah, you. Yeah. Um, let me think on that for a second. No, I did not. Okay. <laughs> I read, you didn't like, read. You didn't read. I, I read two chapters, the most recent two chapters of One Piece today, <laughs> and uh, like five pages of uh, Wave listened to me just a few minutes ago. Nice. But that's, uh, thank, that's about it. I have have any time. Thank you, Leo and Lionheart, uh, Cardi B, please. I'm going to switch over to the computer right now. The phone is not uh, connected very well. I'll be back. Yeah. Oh, my. Go for it. Yes. Is one of those young ladies Cardi B? One of those young ladies is Cardi B. One of the people. I've never heard them call young ladies. Wow, this brings back memories. Oh, uh, okay, I recognize her, but I don't know who. Dude, who... I, I saw her in Vegas, uh, Gabe, and she mm -hmm. was a mess. She was a mess. Oh, she, she was a mess for a bed she... for a moment. This was probably five years, four or five years ago. Was we it a concert? Yes, and she was drunk out of her mind, <laughs> like just all nice. over the stage. And I, you know, I, I was like, okay, maybe if I get lucky. One of her boobs will fall out. <laughs> <laughs> Never happened. <laughs> of course. <laughs> ah, there hey. we go. Man, she looks she better been... now. She looks so much better now. Yeah, she she's uh she's in her fifties and it's mm -hmm. still incredible. Yep, yep. Yeah. All right. And hauls? When you haul? I didn't haul anything, so you can skip me. I got nothing. All right, I guess it's me and Jess, maybe. Battle of the halls. Let's see. Battle of the halls. I only hauled thin Marvel trades. Oh, what's getting made into an omnibus now? <laughs> <laughs> You're getting yeah. open, everybody. Here's a. Just as tithing to the gods. <laughs> You're getting an omnibus of Black Cat, or at least an oversized hardcover. Oversized hardcover, that's right. Yeah. Um, and uh, Venom Unleashed Volume 1. Yep. I was told I needed to get before I started uh, Absolute Carnage. Carnage. Yep, yep, yep. And I don't remember ordering this. And I don't think <laughs> <That's> I... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, IST just do it in your box. They're like, we need to get rid of this. Give it's it to this guy. It's probably my copy. What did you get? <laughs> probably <laughs> Gotham by Gaslight. Is that um... you, son of a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> no, the Wastelands. I think um, that's a book that Riley told you to get. Uh, okay, it says it's from the world of Old Man Logan, but yep. I haven't started yep. that yet. Um, I I'm remember starting it, but it's it looks like I can't read it until I read Old Man Logan. Which is your next omnibus because I have like 11 volumes of that trade, that trade paperback series. I've got some news for you, Jess. Yeah. I'm, I'm just kidding. I, I saw nothing. Oh. <laughs> I can't say anything. Uh, I saw nothing. someone on Amazon selling Absolute Carnage for 200 Don't bite. That thing is coming back in the stock 1118 So ah. do not buy that unless, you know, you got money. But. That you're a grown ass man, you can do whatever you want to with that. Yeah, don't listen to us. Uh, so that's what I got. All right. So all right, let's see this big haul, man. Come on, right. you've been talking it up all weekend. Uh, have I? You had a birthday. You had a birthday, so we can say happy I had birthday. A birthday. To you. Happy yeah. birthday. Thank you guys. Thank you. So a little bit of a quick birthday haul from from the wife. Oh yeah, you got some good stuff. I got some. I got some fun stuff from the wife. Uh, yes, this is a. This is from. This is another Geo kind of super bait. I, I didn't yeah. realize that Mega Man X was on the Switch, and when he showed us, I, uh, I, 
You ordered I, it? I, 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 no, I sent it to my wife and I was oh. like, I, I need you here, put this on my Christmas, on my birthday list. This is my birthday list. So, uh, so I got the uh, Mega Man X. Uh, what is this? The, uh, the two collections. I love Mega Man X. I'm happy to buy it on every system that's, that's available that has the original stuff on it. Yep. yep. Awesome. Good, good stuff. Good yeah. choice, man. Love Mega Man X. I need to crack this bad boy open and uh, hide in the bathroom at work and play it or something. Um, next up though, this is, this is my favorite thing that she got for me. Your lady got you that. Yes. That's awesome, man. That is awesome. This is, uh, X-Men, uh, the art and the making of the animated series. And this thing is incredible. It's a beautiful this, book. It is gorgeous. If you're a fan of the show, it is, it is a must. It's a must have. It has all the cool. I'm just trying to get some kind of angle on here so I can show it. It has like animation sales. Why am I so? Why is this so <laughs> ignorant? Don't knock any drink onto your computer. Yeah, what the fuck? It's coming out retarded. Sorry. Um, so you get a bunch of animation sales. You get it's all. You get character designs. You get storyboards. It is. It's everything you want for a art book on the uh, X Men series, and my favorite thing about this is it's pretty ingrained in the history of the X Men. The, the introduction here is probably one of my favorite things. That I fell in love the moment I opened it up. Uh, again, you get some awesome, awesome uh, cells in here that they printed up. But this goes all the way back. It starts with the introduction of the X Men. And a great little introduction about the comic books. It gets into one of my favorite things of all time, which is Pride of the X-Men. Nice. And the development and the... Uh, with the Australian Wolverine. The Australian Wolverine, yep. And there's even... This is really cool. Like, oh, dude, like here's like the... Storyboards are the storyboards awesome. Storyboards for the, uh, the uh, introduction, for the opening sequence. This is probably one of the most iconic introduction scenes. Or a, a con it, it's all, dude, it's just all kinds of cool uh, sales and character designs. But there's a whole thing in here. I might have skipped over it because there's just so much stuff in here. It's really hard for me to kind of pinpoint what I'm looking at. But they really get into the art of Jim Lee and how his art uh, really uh, was a basis for the series. And his character designs for these characters is really what uh, was used and brought into the series. So I mean it's it's just great stuff if you're just a big fan of this kind of uh excellent stuff or the cartoon or just animation in general. But oh man. Like I love this the John Byrne. I'm trying to point to it, the John Byrne stupid thing. But yeah. All the great stuff in here. This is stuff this is great. So if you're a fan of the show, if you're a fan of the X-Men, like this is definitely one hundred percent a must own. And it gets into the legacy on it. Just this is this is perfect. I love every every moment of this thing. Oh, look, the figures, the Marvel Legends and Kotobuki. Yeah, nice. yeah, those figures are great. That's all new stuff too. Like, they yeah. really waited till like the very end to publish this because there's stuff in here that to, that came out like six months ago or something. So, really cool nice. stuff. So definitely check it out if you're a fan of the show. Um, I can't get enough of this. I have this. I have the book that the uh, the story in the original uh, showrunners wrote about it too. So. I'm going to get really heavy into the old X-Men animated series stuff. Can't go wrong with this. I'm really going to find that Jim Lee stuff. That was just really cool. But there you go. So that's my uh, my little birthday haul from the wife. Uh, she's the greatest. Did you uh, hear that it's they're trying to bring it back? Like with the original writers, the original, some of the, an the, same, like the same animation studio? Cool. See what happens. Well, hopefully it's uh, better than... Was it the fifth season, the Red Sky season, where it was all kind of weird and I yeah, didn't, didn't even uh, get a full season, I don't think. Yeah, so that's that. Um, I got a uh, international, I got some international mail from a uh, a viewer. Nice. Yep. Uh, oh. So shout out to uh, Daniel Colt here, uh, viewer of the show. Uh, he uh, kickstarted as well with me. Uh, the Battle Chasers uh, Night War, the game. Uh, mm -hmm. He, he, he kickstarted it. He kickstarted at a much, much, much higher tier than me, where he got all kinds of cool stuff. But apparently, they didn't really handle 
the uh, rewards very well. So he missed out on a couple things, but they gave him a bunch of extras. So he gave me his extras, and one of the extras is the art book. Oh, from nice. From Battle yes. Pictures. Is that autographed? It's autographed. Yeah, it's all autographed. So this very is, nice. Uh, big shout out to him as well. This is, again, I know, Omar, I know you recently did a uh, Darksiders video um, mm -hmm. with the art books from that. But, man, the art book for Battle Chasers. Battle Chasers is strange because they don't have an art book for it because, well, you know, it's a small little company. Mm -hmm. So the only way to get the art book is what you're holding in your hand. Well, so far. The Kickstarter. And the Kickstarter yeah. tier for this was like, I want to say it was something like 200, 300 bucks. Yeah. And I love Joe Mad. Included the, uh, but the holy crap. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't going to Kickstarter. I wasn't going to go that high for, for the art book. I really wanted it, but it's it just, that was a ridiculous thing. Um, but also with that, uh, he got an extra, he sent me the extra uh, cloth map. Oh, cool. So he gave me That's that cool. as well. And this is the awesome gift that just keeps on giving because there's, there's a little bit more too. So he also got an extra uh, poster. Yeah, man. Ooh, That's nice. what's up. So he sent this all the way from Australia, packed it like a champ. Uh, it was a good month or so in transit. It arrived perfect. It packed it like a champ, arrived safely and great. So I really... Daniel, I, I love you for this. I really appreciate that. Came in just in time for my birthday. It wasn't a birthday thing, but it just coincidentally was able to land on that. So super excited about that. Um, I got a mysterious package from uh, In Stock Trades. I don't remember ordering this. Maybe this is Omar's. God um, I got damn it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the manga that's backwards. That it's people not backwards. I know it's supposed to be this way. I understand that. That's a joke because there were some people. Oh, okay. A lot of people out there who were like, "They, they, why would they change this around? That is so silly." But you know, <laughs> everybody's a goddamn from. connoisseur now. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody reads Berserk once, and they're like, "Oh, I know everything." Manga. Let me let me tell you about the way of manga. And how <laughs> this is you guys ever heard about manga before? <laughs> that goes from that goes from right to left, except for this one because they fucked it up. No, uh, I yeah. wish you were kidding, but you're telling the truth. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Blade of the Immortal. Uh, I, I've heard nothing but great things about, it, especially from you guys, from Omar and Riley and Geo, and you guys are the ones that got me into manga in the first place. So I uh, I follow your guys' uh, advice, and um, I, I grab this. I also need to grab that hell scene when, uh, next next chance I get. But here. Here you go, Omar, just so you know what it looks like. Yeah, I'll get it one day. I'm still waiting on my yep. copy. <laughs> um, I, think, I think Jess ended up with it. <laughs> uh, Captain America, uh, Monsters yes. and Men, Epic Collection, awesome Mike Zek. Uh, he was at Torpedo this weekend. I totally missed out because uh, of work and you know birthday stuff, but you can't go wrong with Mike Zek. Uh, J.M. Demetrius uh, writing Captain America stuff. Love, love this era of, of Captain America. Um, so yeah, so that's awesome. And then um, I got a little bit of birthday money, so I went out and did my own little. Uh, got some stuff for myself as well. Um, that's right. Treat yourself. Oh, up. nice. Uh, Team and T Volume Ten and Team and T Volume Eleven. Good choices. I uh, yeah, I well these 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 don't match my collection because they don't have sketches in them like my other books do. But uh, <laughs> I am definitely in a hardcore team and T hype mode right now, uh, especially with Last Ronin coming out Tuesday, no Wednesday. So I'm I'm super pumped for that. So I got these as well for myself. You gotta and... get those Super Seven Turtles figures now. Don't don't do that to me, Riley. Don't do that. <laughs> I looked them up. Like that that first wave is like a hundred dollars a, a figure, and it's and they're it's gonna they're gonna be re releasing the first wave. So if you do right. wind up wanting to do it, just just hang on, hang uh, on until yeah. they do I that. I want that raft, but I'm not. What gonna about the second wave? I think all the rest of the waves are still pretty well available because they're still in the pre order state. It's just that a lot of people did not pre order the first wave. And then when people started like getting them and showing them off, then people were like, "Oh man, these are nice." And then they started getting real expensive. All right. Yeah, they and are. 
Can't go wrong, Team and Team. I know Lou's getting onto it now. Uh, that's a series that thanks to Geo, goddamn Omar right there. He's got that Super Seven. Is that is that the I, Raf? Is that that's, Raf, son? Okay, so I, <laughs> I, I hear me out. I wasn't gonna get him, but then I went to a comic book store and son of a bitch, I oh, saw Raf. They had they had the whole set, and I was like, well, oh, I'm not. That, dude. Well, it's a little head. Uh, here he comes with an extra head, right? I haven't opened oh. him up yet. But I um. I, I'm an idiot because I got it, and I realized that uh, now I have to get them all. Uh, and then I also <laughs> got this because I'm fucking oh, the Thundercat, Thundercats, th- Thundercats ho, Ooh. and I got Lion O. These are awesome. beautiful figures, and woo, I'm in it for the long haul now. Here we go. Yeah. Now you got to go you find the uh, I gotta, find I gotta, that I gotta, Super 7 Conan. And the, I saw the Conan, and so I was like, "Well, and how the much Toxic Jeff- Avenger." No, 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 no. Well, because I was Avengers like, awesome. uh, "I came close to doing the He-Man stuff, but then I was, yeah. like, I, can't, I can't." And of course, I haggled. Of course, I haggled for. Show laugh again. Uh, sure. Which one? Yeah, so, uh, this isn't part of the. This is the uh, the new Super uh, Seven Wave. The Super Seven have a Turtle Phone. Ultimates. Look at that Turtle Phone. Is awesome. Dude, look at the like. I love the fact that it comes with its original. You can't see it, but it's back here. Yeah, it's the weapons in the original color. That was the yeah. way they were gonna do it. But then mm-hmm. fans were like, "We're paying fifty dollars for this figure. Can you at least color them?" And so they were like, "Okay, we'll give you, we'll give you, we'll give you the actual, uh, you know, the real colors, and then the original colors in the back if you want." And so it's that was awesome. It's also cool because they're, they're not just in the original orange, but it's like on the rack where you have to like cut them out. Yep. So, just so like it the, looks exactly like the old toys and stuff. Yeah. So I was very happy with these I two. Want. So, so let us know. Let us know how much you uh, laid down for Raf. Oh, uh, so they had uh, 60 on it, right? Which isn't yeah. much because right now, if you look on eBay, I think they go anywhere from like 70 to like 100. Mm-hmm. And I know how much, uh, you know, Diamond had him for for comic shops so i was like ah would you do 45 and he got like offended and he's like come on how long you been coming over here and i'm like come on man (laughs) so 50. that works because after considering if you were to order from super seven or from like big bad toys exactly right you're going to be spending that much after you know probably less than that much after taxes and after shipping and stuff yeah, so I got. Are they I, I got available one. Big Bad Toy Store? No, they're yes. gone. Wait, not the wave first one. Wave one is gone. But the but other the, waves. The other it. waves are yeah. Wave one will come back, and the other waves are coming. But man, you got to look at the the figures in the other waves because they're. I mentioned this last week, but they're basing them off of the original Playmates toys. They're not based on the cartoons. They're not based on the games. They're based on the figures, and it's like you have the original figures, but scaled up for your big man hands now, not for your little boy hands. <laughs> So, so it's the thing that uh, Omar had. Yeah. So this, okay. So like what, let me, uh, what Riley's saying, this is based on the figure, right? Not the, not the cartoon, mm-hmm. not the comic book. These are based on the figures. So if you all remember, like they had characters like, well, you, Usagi, Usagi looked nothing like he did in the comic, nor mm-hmm. in, in the cartoon, but he looked like this sculpted figure with like big muscle arms and, his teeth were gritty. I hope they make an Usagi. That that would be awesome. Now that's it's, different than the first and second wave. What is that called? That's Super Seven. Super Seven is the toy company that's making these. Um, yeah, it's the TMNT Ultimates line. Yeah, and then this Ultimate. is the Ultimate Thundercats. And oh, so it's Ultimate Turtles, Ninja Turtles. So I'm looking for Ultimate Turtles, and yeah, it, it's already sold out though. Wave one, the first is. wave. But the other, they're, the other being, they're being remade though. Yeah, and Usagi has been confirmed. He's gonna yeah. come in like oh, yeah? probably wave six or something like that. Because <laughs> now they said they're only here. They said they'd only do an eight. So the way I talked myself into this was, it's two waves a year. I can sell some stuff. I mean, I do that already to, uh, you know, get hobbies like pay for my hobbies. But I was like two a year. I can do that. And then I was like, wait, if I had Thundercats, that's four waves a year. Okay, I can squeeze that in there. 
So I haven't heard of Usagi being confirmed. That's cool because we've only seen four waves of Thundercats and four waves of the mm -hmm. Turtles. Of so the pictures. Here's, here's what's been happening. Um, originally, the contract was for – y'all are lucky my brother-in-law is like super hard into this stuff, and that's why I know all this. Um, so the original contract was for <laughs> five, five <laughs> seconds. Is, exactly is, right. is that true, Jess? <laughs> He's Jess. totally right. Jess is gonna be sure. So I paid a little more than Omar did on eBay for my craft. <laughs> they were originally doing five waves of four figures each, right? Mm -hmm. And so twenty total figures, and that was just the license that they were able to get. But they were able to expand the license. Then, like you said, you know, eight waves or whatever it's gonna be. Um, so they're gonna be doing more waves off. of four figures each. Each wave has basically one turtle. And then, you know, a couple of other figures in there as well. One of the figures is generally like a, a, a larger one. Like for wave one, it's Baxter. Um, my brother-in-law likes to call it the boss level figure because it's like mm -hmm. a, a big. So Baxter and then like Muckman is one of them. And, Muckman uh, is huge, yo. Yeah, Muckman's going to be a big one. Now, that one's going to be really cool. What I don't want is like a uh, hockey player, Raph. Astronaut Donatello. They I'm did worried say they're gonna do that. I and think I'm they're like, gonna do. That. I think they're gonna do the first alternate costumes of each character. So that was Baseman Raf, Sewer Surfer Mikey, uh, Samurai Leo, and then I think Donatello was uh, like in a trench coat. The detective one with the face mask. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, they, I think that they said they're gonna do those, but they did in one of the the they'll do like live. Um, con conversations and stuff like that. Uh, please give about, us the Krang's human body, please. I'm pretty sure that they they'll do because they've kind of teased that as well. But they did in something. Someone said like, "Man, it'd be so awesome if you could do uh, Usagi." But I know the licensing is probably hard on that. And the uh, what is his name, Ryan Flynn or Brian Flynn or whatever. He was like, "Oh, we got Usagi. Don't worry about it." Oh, dude, I would have just gave him Stan Stan Sakai's phone number. Man. Just talk to him directly. <laughs> Well, I but remember they, when Stan uh, when Stan was in that documentary. Have you all seen you all seen the Ninja Turtles documentary, right? I haven't Turtle watched Power it. It's, like, uh, it's yeah, it's like two and a half hours long. Yeah, that was amazing. It's beautiful, yeah. man. Great documentary if you haven't seen it. But Stan Sakai was talking about how he was given the turtle the the toy of Usagi, and he was like, "This doesn't look like Usagi at all." <laughs> But they were—he was so happy that he got his first toy of Usagi Yojimbo. I thought that was really cool. Uh, so I want to see. Okay, we can go back to comics, but uh, but I really want to see like the the turtle secret, uh, secret of the ooze ones, like Raza and uh, what's his name Toka Toka and Raza and Super Shredder. Man, all beefed up. I know Neca has their own line, but it'd be really cool to see them in this yeah. line. I, I, I see think how deep they go. Like, are they gonna do like a wing nut and screw loose? I know. Oh, they got dude, Mondo, they got that's what I'm hoping. Hey, they Gabe, do have Mondo Gecko. You know so I'm the, hoping. You know the names, Gabe. You want this? Yes. You're in. You're in. You know the names. If they do like a like a turtle van, or they do like the blimp, or like the playset. Oh, man. Well, they did. Uh, what what is it? From, Techno from drone. That would yeah. be cool. The techno they, drone. They did the the mountain from He Man. Like yeah. scale the figures. Somebody uh, copied a, or sent me a picture of that on our Twitter, and I said, oh, Jesus, don't do this. I can't, like, because then I have to fill that castle up with He-Man figures. So, you also got to get a whole new room in your house just to fit it because it's freaking huge. Don't I will knock a fucking wall down. <laughs> the castle, <laughs> Snake Mountain, man. Come on. All right. Uh, all right. So, so Riley, are you done hauling, Gabe, or did you get anything else? I got one more thing to show. Sorry. What do you got? Yes, Meta Barons. Very got the nice. Meta Barons slipcase. I found one in the wild. Wow. wow. Got it. This is a yeah. I don't. This needs an introduction. You guys know all about this. Uh, I mean, you got Jodorowsky. You got uh, you got Mobius in here. They only it's made fifteen hundred copies of this thing. It's just like the uh, the Incul, where it was just this limited release, done and over with. Uh, that ankle one's going for crazy money, I think. But I'm just glad to find the uh, the Meta Barons one oh, out in uh, the wild on the shelf. Uh, you all right? I, yeah, I'm not. You all know I don't want to. I'm never the actually guy because I hate those guys and I want to punch them in the face. Uh -oh. But I feel like I have to say, as a matter of fact, Gabe, 
Oh, it's, no, not, not it's, it's not Mobius. It's yeah. Juan Jimenez, who is one of my favorite <laughs> artists that it passed works. away of COVID at the beginning of the year. So I had to say something. But other than that, yeah, yeah, you're right. Everything else is good, man. <laughs> Sorry. Happy good. birthday. No. God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Omar. Let's get an X Factor Peter David on the bus. I promise it will. I'm going to make that happen. I and promise. A shout you. out to the 212 people in the chat right now. Yeah. Let's what's up, up everybody? Up. That is major. Right on. So that's it for me, guys. Uh, okay. And let's see where you can do the, before we get the previews, we can do the gift card giveaway for in stock trades, $50. Oh, yeah. Anywhere in the world, you can send in to this email right below omnibroslive at gmail.com. I will take the first 50 entrants. I don't want 200 entrants to have to pile through. In the subject line, put IST gift card giveaway. And in the body of the email, just give your uh, email address that you use for IST. And if you mess it up, don't worry. Just get your name in there and somehow say IST giveaway. Um, and that is omnibroslive at gmail.com starting now. And I'm going to cut it off in like four minutes. So that's what I'll do. I don't, oh, damn it, I don't have my phone with me. Does anybody have a, a phone on them that they can time four minutes? If you look on the bottom right-hand side of your computer. Uh, the bottom, the, the top right-hand right -hand side, you mean. Top, sure, wherever the hell you put it. Uh, yep. There's okay, a four up minutes there. at 9.03, I will cut it off. That, that was very in, uh, ingenious, Omar. Thank you. I, I'm a... Um, I have practical solutions for, I don't know what the fuck. And my computer not only has an F key, but a clock on it. That is perfect. <laughs> so, live at Gmail. Uh, look at me, king of the castle. <laughs> I have an F key and a clock. What's right. I got F key and a, and a clock. Uh, so $50 gift card. Ready, go. And then I do a... Random number generator. Uh, N Man Forty. No, I. Uh, no news. Just. Uh, I can't say anything about anything. But I'm. I'm. That's one of the books that I'm. That's my goal to make happen is the Peter David X Factor stuff. All his stuff needs to be an omnibus format, really. But I think you know the sales of Hulk have shown that uh, his name has uh, some selling power. So let's get some X Factor and Spidey twenty ninety nine and Captain Marvel. Yes, Captain Marvel, the Janice Vale stuff, and he goes psycho. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and then maybe David can move on to DC and print us a Young Justice and an Aquaman and Supergirl. Then I might get all of his Star Trek books in an omnibus. Uh, Fallen Angel would make a beautiful omnibus. I think Fallen, his Fallen Angel run would be great omnibus. Uh, okay, two minutes left. Whoops, I didn't mean to hit YouTube. I meant to hit mail. Two minutes left on uh, the Omnibus Live. I've muted till you guys finish talking about the Ninja Turtle figures. At this point, a drug addiction would be cheaper. And so much more deadlier. So much more deadlier, man. Man. This is more fun. I, I have to live vicariously through all of y'all. Like I, I like know all the information because of my brother-in-law, but... I can't do it. I can't get into it. I'm happy. I've got a, uh, I don't remember what year. It was like 2012 or something. Playmates did re-releases. Or not re-releases, but yeah. a new, new the, set of Turtles. The classics, right? Yeah, they, they look kind of like the classics. They they look very cartoony, like, you know, happy-looking Turtles and stuff. I have those, I, and I'm happy with that. They're, they're great figures. They're like seven inches tall. They have great articulation. All I right, love them. Man. So I'm, I'm happy with those, but... These new ones are freaking. Yeah, they're they're not cheap though. Uh, is Aquaman, Supergirl, and Young Justice really the ones? Yeah, I'm Peter trying to David think of what else Peter David wrote at DC. I'm pretty sure that was that was it, right? He had a little run. He had a couple of issues of Superboy, but it was mainly Aquaman, Young Justice, and Supergirl. That's it. Uh, Geo, how's this? Uh, how tell us about the previous poll? Mm. 
I think you're muted. We're here. We're hearing some clicking of keys, but not Geo's voice. I thought it was somebody uh, popping bubbles from like. Oh a... no! I was playing with this uh, Capri <laughs> oh. Sun. <laughs> but, okay. Geo, can you tell us about the straw poll? You're on mute, Geo. Geo, Geo you're muted. Geo, you're on mute. There you. Go. Why am I muted? I'm not okay, pressing anything. Okay, now you're fine. Okay, that's <laughs> weird. Look, my hands are up. I'm not doing anything. Uh, I put up a poll right there asking what will you guys be picking up, our chat. And uh, at the end of the previews, we'll show the uh, results live. We'll do it so live. Votes, so we know what you're picking Yeah. So far, 45 votes. So that's really awesome. Okay, peace and love, peace and love. The giveaway is closed. All stop right. Sending in, uh, stop Just. sending in everything, and I'm going to r run the random number generator here in a little bit. Okay. Jess, I have a favor. So Saturday, November uh, – what is that? Uh, God damn it. Where is my – wife uh saturday november 14th we're doing a huge giveaway on my channel can you come and uh take over the giveaway because you seem to do such a good job of getting emails and uh, there's gonna be like 10 lots of things we're giving away can you do that saturday november 14th you just come in and just take over seriously no that would be murder on you you get 50 <laughs> emails per lot you it couldn't keep fun. up you would, you, would, you would text me and be like what the no i'm not doing this i would not put that on anybody it's gonna be a headache oh okay. <laughs> you got us so i just sounded saying. like i was gonna do it it sounded fun I, I don't know that would be insane man like people geez i have a hard time doing it so i'm trying to think of an easier way to do it this way it works here i think I want to vote, but is She-Hulk not? It is coming out tomorrow. Yeah, I just didn't add it because I'm lazy. I apologize. Gio, you're so sexist. <laughs> yeah. Gio does not like green women. He doesn't already, like Gamora or She-Hulk. I already added five or six books. I don't know. Yeah, you can't add them all. No. Can't add them all. Okay, so we want to talk about previews now? We, we're going to go into there? Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah do we have a way to talk about DC previews still? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, the uh, U UCS is still there until the end of the year, and then after that, hopefully, Lunar has a website that we can look up for weekly releases or something. Okay, that would be cool. Groovy. Yeah. All right, fools. Uh, let's get this started up. Here. All right. Let's take a look. For at uh, this week's releases, October 28th is when they release uh, in comic book stores. You can stop by in stock trades tomorrow starting at 12 noon, 3 Eastern for the Mad Dash to find all these great books. So let's go ahead and take a look. We're going to start with Image Comics today. Uh, we got Blue and Green graphic novel. Uh, Exer Sisters Trade Paperback Volume 2. That's a good book. And uh, Nell uh, excuse me, Nell Biter Volume 7, Nell Biter Returns. Mm -hmm. Uh, IDW this week got some Joe Hill stuff, uh, with Dying is Easy, um, Monkey vs. Robot, the Complete Epic, and Redbone True Story, uh, Native American Rock. The true story Shingle of band. a Native American rock band. Okay. Uh, DC for here. We'll, we'll get back into DC after this, but on here for previews, we've got the uh, DC poster portfolio for Deceased. Marvel this week. Marvel is hitting it heavy this week. Uh, Daredevil, Man Without Fear, uh, Marvel Select Edition hardcover. This is this is a must own if you don't have this in some other formats. Uh, but you have to have the awesome Man Without Fear story somewhere in your collection. Uh, Dawn of X trade paperback volume nine. Okay. Empire uh, trade paperback. Then we got this awesome, fantastic four epic collection, uh, War with Atlantis. This takes us through to the end of the Jack Kirby Stanley stuff and on into a little bit of the. Uh, 
George Perez and John Romita. No, it's just John Romita. Uh, the John Romita stuff. So this goes all the way up to 104, which is past where the omnibuses are at this point. So far. So far. I know you I know you announced volume four. So that'll take us. Back. I didn't. That was all David. He decided to tell people. Or he tell he told me it was okay to tell people. So yep. it's coming next year. Yep, it's in there. So this is all good stuff here. This is the last of the uh the good old Jack and Stan stuff there. Yeah. Do you know why he left? Uh because Stan Lee was stealing everything and I gave him any credit. Okay, what's the real reason? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Stanley was taking all the credit. No, I think he was getting more into. Uh, he moved out to L.A. and I think he was getting more into the, the animation, the Hollywood movie side of things and stuff like that. But of course, it's really just uh, the the uh, the comeuppance of credit. And then this is when he uh, he, he took off to uh, D.C. and started doing uh, New Gods and all of that stuff as well. I think yep. he was also doing maybe that was a little bit later, and he started doing like the humanoid uh, cartoon and all that stuff as well. I'm not sure, but uh, I know I'll... I know he was pissed because he just got up and I Stan because remember the issue 102 was supposed to be used and then they never used it until like as flashbacks of issue 108, mm -hmm. and then so this collects the uh, the lost, lost adventure. Yeah. Uh, okay, and this also uh, whoops clicked on that again. Uh, Peter David, Incredible Hulk, Omnibus Volume 2. Uh, we got the DM cover here. For, that's the cover for uh, 393. I love that cover. I wish it was hollow foil like the original one, but still. And then we got the uh, Dale Keown Anniversary cover here as well. Mm, I think I like the first one. I do too. That's the one I'm going to. That's the direct market cover. That, that one right there? Yeah, yeah. I like that one. Yeah, it's labeled weird on IST because it's labeled weird in Diamond. Yep. And I think IST just, you know, just pulled the Diamond information. So the DM cover, I think, is the one that's called the anniversary cover in the title. Um, and then uh, the Del Keown one, I think this one here, they just call it the Del Keown cover. There's no DM. It doesn't say like DM variant or anything like, that, like they usually do. Uh, all right, and then moving on, we got Infinity Gauntlet. Hell yeah, we got the uh, long, long-awaited reprint for this with the uh, Jim Starlin uh, the DM cover as well. I'm curious the DM collectors are going to go with that because I think the classic cover to me is the best one. Yeah, you have to have the George Perez cover. I mean, that it's, it's cover is tattooed on my arm. So it's yeah. life. <laughs> That's the iconic cover. You should I mean, you should tattoo the other cover on, on your other, other arm. arm. Yeah. Yeah. And say like this is the variant arm. <laughs> <laughs> because actually they got the 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 George Perez cover has the gauntlet on the correct hand, which is the left hand, and this one has it on the right hand, which is the incorrect hand. But it didn't who did the cover? Who did that cover? Isn't Starlin. it Starlin? Yeah. Stupid Starlin. He doesn't know anything about yeah, Thanos. He doesn't know shit about Thanos. <laughs> what a joke. Oh, wait. No, it's Mirror, just like Blade of the Immortals. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. And then uh, Force Works 2020 uh, Revolution, uh, Robot Revolution trade paperback. Ironheart graphic novel meant to fly. Uh, League of Legends. And then we got uh, Marvel Art. Of the Savage Sword of Conan hardcover. Is this just an art book then? Yeah, it is. It's really pretty. Uh, Marvel Masterworks uh, Defenders Volume 7, along with the DM cover. Uh, then we got the Omnibus for Dan Slot She Hulk. Star Wars trade paperback uh, from Journals of Obi Wan. And the Marvel Mondo book. Do Open not book. I I know it's a big week, but do not miss that book. That book is beautiful. It's the um, Mondo prints that yeah. reprinted in this perforated uh, book that you can just pull them out. There's some beautiful prints in there. Uh, Dynamite this week has a uh, Betty Page Unbound trade paperback, James Bond 007, uh, hardcover volume two, and then we got Red Sonia. Uh, and Vampirella meet Betty and Veronica. <laughs> oh, I have to get that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, Boom Studios has the uh, Firefly Unification War Deluxe hardcover. I've seen that. Holy crap! How, how when, that book has been coming out since March. Yeah, like it was on no last year. It was supposed to be out last year. Damn, it's is it finally coming out? Because Jim, the Jim Lee uh, Artist Edition thing, that's been postponed until next, I think March. Yeah. That's fine though. I'm getting it no matter what. I don't care when they push it back to. I it's a good time to kind of save up for it. I might even just be able to give some time to save up to get the uh, signature editions. Uh and then uh Power Rangers, Sins of uh Sins of the Future. Original graphic novel. All right, and then here is the other categories. Um we'll just skim through here, see what kind of cool stuff here we want to touch on. Hell so yeah, the, dread. Uh, a, a cool Judge Dread here, the awesome jock cover. Nice. I think it's pretty dope. Let's see if there's anything else here. We kind of... Wait, just turn on the place. Yeah, PlayStation 4. No, Demon Slayer Volume 18. Nice. Deadbeat Omnibus. If anybody's wondering about the manga, we're going to cover that on Thursday. All the new stuff coming out. And if you don't care about manga, well, it's, I can't do anything about it. Well, that's too bad. Yeah, because we're going to do it anyways. Well, there's some good ones in there. Good Tama. I, I I can't believe that guy has a book. That's incredible. A hardcover, nonetheless. And we can't get a, a hardcover for Aquaman. Uh, yeah, you can. Not an omnibus, though. You you don't want yeah but, Aquaman to get the what, Good Tama hardcovers, though. What's a uh, Harmony? That looks uh that looks really. I like that cover. <laughs> uh, yeah, for that. Pretty cool. Uh, Todd Weiss. I think Criminal Volume Three is coming out. End of November, sometime in December. Does that sound right, everybody? I thought it was November when it was okay. uh, pushed to. November. And I think yeah. aren't they reprints that, like February or something? Yeah, but that could um, all change, yeah. dude. That uh, Neobi, she is death. The stranger, yeah. like from Stranger Comics. Yeah. Those guys were in uh, Baltimore last year, and I talked to them. They put out some really good books. Yeah, like the artwork is top notch. Yeah, I talked to him. Uh, it was in WonderCon last year. And nice I guys there, too. And, yeah, yeah. They, they, I bought a bunch of their covers and their variants for the store. They, we, we, we did a big, uh, big transaction with them with their stuff. They're saying that they, they were telling me, and you can take it with a grain of salt, that uh, HBO is buying out their whole universe as like their next big like. Game of Thrones. Well, I mean, kind of world building kind of series. It's a uh, minorities, right? Like it seems to be huge and for TV shows of these series. Yeah. Um, a big week down here. Uh -huh. Not a lot of yeah. stuff to really touch on, but there's some cool. It seems Ooh, like. Super good. Good. Whoa. The manga whoa, whoa. releases what? are like two weeks worth down there. What's that stuff a legend? Uh, Trade Paperback Volume 5, Call to Arms. Click on that, because that's new, isn't it? Yeah, it's brand new. Um, click on that. Uh, just I just want to see the... Because he was that book's been on hiatus. It's I love that book. It's like two years, at least. It's been four. And, four, okay. And the two hardcovers that are out are made up of the first... I thought it was the first five. I think it's the first four. Is is it four? Okay. I've got them over in the uh, in the hall, so I don't remember exactly. I thought it was the first five. But if this is new, I'm in. I'll freaking support this book. This is like my mouse guard, too. Like, mouse guard's been on freaking hiatus for years, and so is this. Look at Jess pulling out the limited edition. Like, Ooh. he had to jerk off the artist to get that edition book. I did not. He even signed it. How did you get that? I, I don't have that. <laughs> I saw him at Baltimore Con like 2016. Wait, hold it up again. I don't know if anybody got to see it. Jess, thanks yeah. for the tug. Oh, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I saw him at Awesome Con 2015. Okay. 
so it's been uh, five years since these books have been out. Yeah, man, it's been on hiatus for quite a while. That's why I got excited when I saw a new one. I uh, did. I didn't know about that one because it wasn't. It was not on preview. I promise it was not on previews last month. So it just snuck in there. Yeah, it says volume four is what this contains. Three and four. Oh hell yes, I'm in. Me too. I love this stuff. He is such a nice guy. This book is so good, cool. man. Yeah, it's a really great book. <laughs> I'm gonna put that on a t-shirt. Jess, thanks for the tug. <laughs> Sign me up. <laughs> oh, what? What? Wait, wait a minute. Uh, G Geo Riley, my daughters love Cheese Sweet Home. Is that a Cheese Sweet Home thing right there? Sui and Tai Chan. It looks yep. like the same artist, but I, I've never read that before. Fake manga fan. Yeah, <laughs> it's supposed to be a spinoff, right? Yeah, they have Sorry. another. There's another little kitten. I don't think it's Sui and Sue and Tai Chan. I've never heard of that, so I'm gonna look into that for them. So, uh, thank you. Too. So it's been out for a while. Thank you. I will look into that. You're welcome. You were no help. <laughs> <laughs> I'm usually uh, not. Uh, Humanoids book coming out. Ta da! So that's that for previews. Now let's take a look at the DC stuff real quick. Oh, good. Because I'm <laughs> hoping Lucifer comes out. Uh, you might be disappointed. I don't think that's this week. No, Lucifer so got there, postponed. November. Just... November. But it is coming. I think it canceled. Okay. There's been, been some live sightings of it out there, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So. so Photoshop. <laughs> uh, DC this week, we got some heavy hitters. Uh, Absolute Swamp Thing Volume 1 and Volume 2. So get ready for that. Uh, Batman 80 Years of the Bat Family. That's a really awesome image. Uh, but I don't care about these kind of uh, <laughs> uh, you know parameter books that they put out. It's just Compilation. random stories. Yeah. This one, though. Uh, this is good stuff. Ed Brubaker, Batman the Man Who Laughs Deluxe uh, hardcover. That's got the uh, the one shot for OGN, Man Who Laughs, plus some issues of Detective and a Batman noir story that I don't think has been collected. No, not in the original collection. That, and I think it's in color, isn't it? I believe so. Because I know they colored the last, co the last collection uh, they did. Oh yeah, it's the first. Oh, apparently it's the first team up of uh, Brew Big. Oh, it's Black and Noir. Okay. This is uh, y'all read this right? This is like one of the yeah. best Batman stories. Yeah, the, I think I did mention it on my favorite Batman uh, stories list. I'll so, go back to Noir check. or the Man Who Laughs. This uh, Man Who man Laughs. laughs. Mm -hmm. So if, if I didn't mention it, then I at least mentioned it as an honorable mention because I said like, if if you're a new Batman reader, you have to check this one out. Yeah, it's so good. It's it's almost as good as Hush Returns and Year Two. <laughs> oh, oh my God. And, and that was it for DC. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, what happened? You got I hit the wrong tab. Oh, I totally oh. closed it out. Give me a second. Dead air time. Uh, who's the winner, Jess? The winner is. Nobody. Jake Regan. Congratulations, Jake Regan. Nice. Good job. Jake, is that. Uh, let me know, is that your IST, the email you used for IST? That's not, uh, I don't, you did include an email, but is that the one you used for IST? Congratulations, Jake Regan. AKA Riley Moore. <laughs> Ray Lai Moore. <laughs> No, seriously, congratulations if you're still watching. Yeah, yeah. Still here. If you're, if you're oh, not yeah. watching. If you're not watching. Whoops. <laughs> if, if not, then it goes into uh, the Omni Bros Life Fund. Woohoo! <laughs> uh, okay, so we stopped on uh, Batman Who Laughs Deluxe. Uh, we already talked about that DC poster book for Deceased. Uh, House of Whispers, Trade Paperback Volume 3. Shazam. Oh, he, he's still in there. He said that's his email. Right. Flash. Okay. Congratulations, so, Bose's Flesh. 
Bozo Flash. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, Congratulations. Sh- shoot me over that info, Jess. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll take care right. of it. Uh, Shazam! <laughs> Finally! I've been waiting for this book. I don't know. It seems like two years, three years now. All right, Deluxe well, at this edition. Point, at this point, we they, they should just do an omnibus with that and <laughs> the more <more-recent laughs> <run. laughs> Stop it. <laughs> is that the DC? I mean, is that the uh, New 52 stuff? Yeah, yeah. Backup, out, like, the backup course. stuff. Yeah, it, mm-hmm. I think it's co- already collected as Justice League Zero if you have the trades or standard size hardcover. Yeah, uh, I'm definitely getting Superman's pal Jimmy Olsen. You that dug this series, fun, in, yeah. that was a fun series. That's it, and that's that for DC stuff. Good stuff this week, man. That's another killer week, dude. Wow, it's a big week, man. Not only yeah, that, yeah. but uh, where's my Magic Knight Ray Earth box set too? I didn't even see that on there. Is that still coming out next week, Geo? I think so. It should be. No, yeah, I, I told them to delay it just because of you. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> bitches, delaying my Magic Knight Ray Earth. I am I, all about the pretty boy with a long neck manga, man. I love clamp manga. <laughs> I still haven't read that first set. So I'm not getting. I'm not planning on getting the second one because I'm like, I don't want to do that. And what then I get. It? It? <laughs> oh, it never, it's been delayed. Until I see it, coming out. I see it on December. their website in December. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Give me a little bit of time. Cool. That. Yep. Yep. I agree with that. I need. To, I'm. I'm waiting on Chobits and. Card capture Sakura because I hope they do the right thing and put them in a box and overcharge me for a cheap ass box. <laughs> well, the box if, if you go by Battle Angel, I think the box set on uh, right stuff is the same price as the individual hardcovers. Oh, I, I used Amazon for that. Oh, because that, that was a hell of a deal through Amazon. Remember when Amazon was shipping people the Akira box set? Like, just by slapping a label. A label. Yeah, <laughs> I remember that, man. Uh, but I got my Akira box set from Amazon. I took a gamble because I, I got it for it was like less than a hundred. It was that oh, one day that it was less than a hundred, kind of like what they did with a uh, She Hulk when it was like forty bucks instead of sixty. Somebody messed up some numbers there. Somebody got fired that weekend. Yeah, are you talking about the most recent one? Mm-hmm. That one's the same. It's 40 on like three or four different outlets. Barnes and Noble started it. And then because Amazon systems automatic, it immediately like price matched it. And that's why you look, that's why you look forward to those glitches because some companies don't honor the prices. Amazon all day, every day, they honor the prices. Remember uh, it was one of my early Omni bros appearances. I was talking about how I talked them into price matching the, my commandy omnibus, because I had pre-ordered the OHC for like twenty-seven dollars, and it was a different, and it got canceled, and they made it into an omnibus. And I had to argue with like two managers, and I'm like, <laughs> like two different ISBNs. One guy's like, no one is gonna do this, and I'm like, oh, I've been an Amazon. I went out, Karen. What's the Spanish version of Karen? Anybody in the chat know? That's what I turned into. Get okay. it. <laughs> <laughs> well, but funny. Omar, this question has been asked by Silent Agent 69 a lot. Yeah, man. In your opinion, is X-Men Blue and Gold by Cullen Bunn worth a read? I think all X-Men is worth a read, even Chuck Austin's run. Riley was telling me some nasty rumors going on in the ch- – so I've taken a I've taken a sabbatical from social media for the last few months. Uh, it's, done the, it's done my soul some good, uh, but – this one almost made me want to come back and reinstall Facebook because he was talking about somebody uh, actually saying that Chuck Austin was one of – what you say they said? Yolanda. I turned it to a Yolanda. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> that does sound like a Karen. <laughs> <laughs> they, it was people talking about how it, they're like, I don't know why people say this is such a bad run. It's not so bad. I mean, well, I mean, I realized that everything is subjective, right? In life, like but, but especially art. But when you come, when it comes comments, to though, this, is you're you're not gonna. Okay, one of the comments was someone said, "Yeah, but she lies with angels." And then the I think OP was like, "What was so bad about it?" Well, <laughs> you know what? As long as they liked it, I guess that's all that matters. To answer your question, it wasn't my favorite run on X Men, but his Magneto I think was a solid read. If you read, I think that everybody read. Yes, like, yeah, you should read. You should really definitely read that. Absolutely. Gold was uh, Guggenheim, though. Just 
uh, by the way. It was only yeah. Blue that was... Blue fun. was uh, Bun. Mm-hmm. He did he did Magneto, and then after that, he did Uncanny X-Men, which was like Magneto leading a team of yep. uh, characters. And then after that, he did Blue, which was focused on the, the original five before they went back to their own... Go but back the best one... <laughs> The Yolanda <laughs> kills oh. Leon. <laughs> uh, but the best one for sure was uh, X Men Red. That was that was my mm-hmm. favorite. Like it was just. I wish. I wish Marvel. I don't know, man. Maybe maybe when David and I get really close, I'll drunk text him. Hey, man, how about you add X Men Red to that all new Wolverine omnibus? Do your boy a solid, <laughs> and go ahead and uh, make an X Men Blue and Gold omnibus. That would be my dumb ass asking for actual Omnis I don't really care about until much later. Like, there are some legit Omnis that need to be printed that I would take way ahead of time. And you're right, uh, Jesse. Magneto by Cullen Bunn would be a really cool Omnibus. Uh, Yeah, they had their ups and downs. I think the, the biggest problem during that era was just it was constantly like relaunch after relaunch after relaunch. Like they just kept changing their minds what they wanted to do with the characters. Like it seemed every two years or so. All right. So we got the results of the poll. That's what's up. People know good books. And I'm sorry I didn't put two old, but it can't all be Marvel. So there's some DC books in there. Where's the mon- where's Magic Knight Ray Earth box set too, fool? Gio, would you mind uh, would you mind sending that to our chat on Facebook so I can have that image? Uh, yeah. Thank you. Gio, can I Photoshop it first before we send it to him? Put Magic yeah. Night Ray Art on the top. <laughs> Magic Night Ray Art, one hundred percent. Yes, you can slip in Gotham by Gaslight there for the little green sliver, right? <laughs> Other. <laughs> Damn. Uh, I, I I like these numbers, man. Hulk by David, the, for sure. Like yep. the the best Hulk, and this this right here with Dell is like to me top top tier, as good as it got. Right, not that Volume Three with Gary Frank or, and Angel Medina is gonna be horrible, but this is like where holy shit, he was just doing. This is where smart hunka hunka Hulk comes into play. I love this that dude. Also, the volume two ends where the epic collections begin, right? So it, it double dips a little bit into the uh, the pan. Uh, what is it? The the Panthenon arc, Pantheon. Yeah, the Parthenon. Pants are on. The Panthenon. The Pantheons. What the hell is the name of that group? The pants aren't on. That's what right. You know. it, it's the what's it called? The Ghost of the Past storyline. Yeah, that one. Yeah. yeah, yeah, those guys. Yes, Mister Awesome. One day we'll get a Mike Carey X Men X Men Legacy Omnibus. We need a we need a Trial of Gambit Omnibus, son. What? Trial <laughs> Trial of Gambit. Gambit. You know that's coming. <laughs> One day I'm gonna I'll I'll have you on the show when I get to announce it. Gabe. Oh man, I'll be there. Except it won't be the Trial of Gambit. It'd be called something else. That's fine. If, give me a Joe Mad X Men Omnibus, bro. That's, well, that's yeah. what that's what we need, man. Joe Gabe Mad. would do the uh, the Vince McMahon like fall back in the chair. I will do the I'm, Jess Bragg rub and tug. That's what I was going to say. I want to do the Jess Bragg Mr. Tug special there. What the hell? <laughs> that's not what you said. That's your new nickname, man. No, it is not. <laughs> uh, yeah, this chat's been a lot of fun. I like. Uh, I missed you guys on Monday. Last last week I had a health scare, so I couldn't make it. Uh, I, oh no, I did make it, didn't I? I was like You're on here like fifteen medication. And I'm oh. like, I probably shouldn't be on, but uh, fuck it. Uh, is your eye better now? A bad idea. Yeah, one hundred percent, man. Oh good. Very back to back to good. Your back to good. Suffer. I uh, didn't even didn't even. Uh, I forgot that something had happened. You're such a silent sufferer. I bounce a silent sufferer. You should. I'm gonna tell my wife you said that. <laughs> yeah, you're all man, man. You never I, complained in the chat. Wow. Okay, I'm never making a tug joke again. I'm all man. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I always complain. <laughs> Oh, Omar, you mother! What? What I do? <laughs> Gilmer's comment. Omni tugs. 
<laughs> Tug is my dog's name, no joke. <laughs> I, 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 I didn't set that up, man. <laughs> how that, I, I have to rewatch that. I can't even remember how that even started. Uh, stuff of Legends. Stuff of Legends, that's right. It was, the, it was the print. It was the book, the special book you got. That's awesome. Do you have a Do you have a volume one that matches that? Uh, let's see. Yeah, that might be where. <laughs> where did you find that? He might. Uh, he might have said, "Thanks for the handsy." Yeah, he signed this one too. <laughs> That's awesome. Those are beautiful, dude. Yeah, I like that series. I may have to search for those, even though I have the director's cut hardcover. That is the director's cut, right? Hardcover, like it has the extra stuff. Uh, no, I don't think so. These are just Omnibus 1 and 2. Oh, well, let's see. Wait a sec. Um, they do have some extra stuff in them. Mm. I don't th I don't think like what you're talking about, though. Mm -hmm. uh, uh -oh. I don't see extra stuff. I'll have to compare. Uh, it's really difficult for me to find a GIF like that without it being, yeah. <laughs> Please don't. No. This is the yeah. absolute cleanest one I could ever find. <laughs> I yeah don't do anything worse than that. Who uses soap like that? Yeah, who uses soap and COVID? Um, this second has, book uh, has a cover gallery, but that's it. Nice, those are beautiful books, man. Like if you've not read Stuff of Legend, it, it's great. So what is that book about? Though? It's about a little boy that gets kidnapped by the boogeyman and his stuffed animals come alive and go to the boogeyman world to save him. But when they're in the boogeyman world, they're like, like his little toy soldier actually is a soldier. Like his little teddy bear is a big grizzly bear. Yeah. The Jack in the box is like a jester with the fights with knives. Oh, it's like a manga, man. You would love it. It's really good. Oh, it's really good. That's why Absolutely. Jess likes it so much. Yeah. Jess is in denial. He's in that denial stage of manga. <laughs> I have I double dipped. I have all these in singles still. I've got <laughs> I've got some of my singles signed. I haven't gotten rid of those. Oh, they're those are nice, except they're hard to store. Yeah, because they come in that uh, that we, yeah format size. Yeah. Omar likes sad books. I do like sad books, some of them, but I like happy books too. <laughs> Taylor won't let me forget it. Nothing. <laughs> All right. So uh, it's, God, it's been an hour and a half. Uh, yeah. We'll talk one more time about the uh, donator of that IST gift card that Jake won. That's in stocktrades.com, where you can get your collected editions up to 50% off. Loyalty discounts add 2% to that. Gift card, gift card, gift card. We just gave away the gift card. If you order $50 or more worth of books uh, in the United States, you get free shipping. And that's going to be really important on a week like this when you're going to order three Omnis and a couple absolutes. So that's a big deal that it's free shipping. Fabulous customer service. Fabulous packaging. That's in stocktrades.com. Nice. Good job. All right. Yay, us. <laughs> that guy. Oh, and we got a super chat from NFL Dude 56. All right. Here's a topic suggestion jumping off the top of about creators having a golden pocket. Is the term comics are a young man's game still relevant? I think it's a con it depends on what kind of context you're putting that in. I think as a creator, 100%, I believe comics are a young man's game on the creator side of things. Uh, but as like a collector or a reader, no, no. I mean, you th wait, like a young man's game, like as far as like being a writer, like a comic book writer is a young man's game. Well, I've, I've, I've talked with the uh, Adam Hughes and J. Scott Campbell once at Torpedo, and they were talking about how. Doing comics is a young man's game, meaning like the the endless grind of doing twenty two oh. pages in a month 
it's a young man's game because once you kind of get older and you get you start having a family and responsibilities, it's hard to dedicate twelve hours of your day to just drawing. Uh, where nowadays they could just do a cover and make more money than they really were doing, you know, single issues. Uh, well, that's an interesting topic because I always think of people like Mark Bagley, you know. Or Tom Grimmett, these guys that actually had monthly schedules with Ron Lim that could pump out books and do it because I don't know if they do it for the money. I remember one time uh, Mark Bagley said, like, he doesn't do conventions hardly because he's like, if I, if I go to a convention, that takes away my time from drawing. I thought that was a pretty devoted answer. You know, the, the guy's the machine, man. He, he's one of the few people that can do. Well, him and Bendis have, have, uh, have the world record, right? Ultimate Spider-Man? Yeah. They beat out uh, Lee and uh, Kirby. Wow. That's that says a lot. And during that time, uh, Bagley at some at some some points was doing Amazing Spider-Man and Ultimate Spider-Man, or Fantastic Four and Ultimate Spider-Man. So he was doing two books a month. Oh shit! Ron Ron period. Lim was doing four books. Remember during like. Yeah. Uh, all the Silver Surfer stuff. He was Ultimate, uh, or not Ultimate, X Men Unlimited. That's crazy. X Men 2099. Right? Hey, yeah. just just four books a month. So it's funny to hear people complain, like, especially Adam Hughes and Jeffrey Scott Campbell, who to me really, you know, other than Justice League International, I can't even remember the last time Adam Hughes drew any internal artwork. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love his covers. But I can't remember anything that he did sequential wise. Like I for what for years they were working on All Star Wonder Woman. He did the inside of that book. He did yeah. the uh, Fantastic Four. He did like uh, five or six pages in the uh, the wedding issue of Fantastic Four. Two thousand seventeen. Twenty seven. He did that whole book. Crazy. That's awesome. And they didn't take it to get signed. That's stupid. But I mean, Joe Mad was the same way, right? Like, why would Joe Mad go back to drawing comics if he could make so much more money off video game yeah. designs and covers? I mean, Dan Fraga left Extreme Studios and did, you know, uh, uh, shit. What do you call it? Um, storyboards. Storyboards. Sorry, I totally forgot that word. That's okay. I think of words I forget all the time too. That's really cool, man. I didn't know that book existed. Not that yeah. I'm an Archie and Veronica fan. It, but... He wrote it too. It's really, it's actually fun. What do you got, Gio? You went to go get a book. No, no, no. don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> don't worry about it. Done. Go ahead. Related. Something else. <laughs> no, you you should pull it out, man. What do you got? Oh God, that, don't take that out. Oh, wow. <laughs> don't take that out of context. Wow. What's, what's this turning wow. into? Saddle down, talk wow, boy. I'm talk, oh, talking oh, about the book that he's got. Whoa, just just in an autograph. What do you? Play tablet. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, tablet's not working properly. Give me a second. Oh, okay. Like <laughs> your fucking business. <laughs> I thought he was getting something for somebody, man. <laughs> Omar putting the spotlight on Gio. <laughs> Gio's like, he's like, I don't have shit. I had Christmas music. Uh, well, I can show you. I mean, you, you guys already seen it, but I was just getting ready to start reading this again because um, we're doing the video on it on Thursday. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I wasn't going to show it or anything. I was just going to mention, oh, I got it uh, on my tablet here, Comicsology. So. I uh, and man, I thought about that. My wife said this this weekend, this past weekend was when we went to go see Jess and his wife Patty. Mm. When we went to Baltimore Comic Con. Is Omar allowed in your house anymore, Jess? Yeah, Jess. Uh, it depends on the mood I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I'll bring my stuff alleged with me. <laughs> All right, guys, I got to bounce off here. This was a lot of fun. 
Hey, Omar, yeah. before you uh, head out, yeah, man. Can, I, can I say something about what we got going on? You better make it quick and clarify what we got going on. Yeah, what do you got going yeah, on? Yeah, what we got going yeah, on? I know what you got going for, on. For Friday. Oh, yeah, 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 man. Yeah, yeah. You you, so, you set the time. Yeah, so, so Friday, I don't have an exact time yet, but Omar and I are going to be live on my channel. Uh, I'm always mm -hmm. visiting his channel, so first time I'll have him on mine, The Omnibus Collector. Uh, we're going to be – basically the topic is why is everything selling out so fast? Why is everything always sold out? And we're going to talk about that and the turnaround time that it takes on uh, you know, these companies to get copies back out and all that good stuff. So we're going to be talking about those topics, um, going live, answering some questions and that kind of stuff. Uh, hopefully it will be an informative and fun video for everyone. That's going to be uh, Friday. I will put up a teaser on my – uh, my social media, on my Instagram, on my YouTube to show the time whenever we decide it uh, so you guys can join us live. That's awesome. That's a great topic. Yeah, that's going to be awesome. I'm going to be there. Now, I'm going to steal that topic and do the same show on Sunday. As a matter of fact, I'll just download our video except make some different cuts, show different <laughs> angles. Just show so your I'll, I'll be there, man. Set. I will be there. Be happy to join in and talk about that stuff. So when you're not appearing on uh, Riley's channel, Omar, where are you appearing? I am on my channel, Near Mint Condition. I will be uh, live tomorrow at 8 p.m. And finally, I think every one of you has been on my channel before, except for one guy, and that's this guy down here. Yeah. And fi finally, Gio is uh, going to join me to talk about uh, Berserk, the first 13 nice. volumes on Old Reader, yes. New Reader. So we get to talk about it, and I'm excited to talk about that because that is my favorite manga of all time. So hey. uh, that's where I'll be. What what uh, what about you? When you're not on Omar's show, where can they find you? Uh, well, you can find me on my channel talking about stuff that the chat doesn't really care about, which is anime and manga. <laughs> if you want that sort of content, head on over to We Can Geek Them, where I do videos Mondays and Wednesday about uh, anime and manga. And Gabe, Gabe you, Loves 90s Comics. You can find me right on Instagram, Gabe Loves 90s Comics. And don't forget to follow Omni Bros Live on Instagram, too. And Omnibus Collector, what is the name of your YouTube channel? The Omnibus Collector, I just put up for all you uh, people who love manga and math. I put up a video yesterday where I calculated how long it would take for us to catch up on the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure manga in America. And I'll uh, be finishing editing and putting up another video tonight after this. Right on. And you can find me, Omnidog, on Omnidog's Vault on YouTube and Omnidog's underscore Vault on Instagram. So thank you to the chat. You guys are great tonight. Thank you to In Stock Trades for being our sponsor. You guys are wonderful. Thank you to my co-hosts. We're always great. And peace and love. Peace and love.